Watching out for your wallet. We all know how easy it is to slide or tap a credit card, but that balance adds up quickly and millions of us are racking up debt. Nicole Somavilla shares advice on how to pay it off. A new report from NerdWallet shows we owe more than $1.2 trillion in credit card debt. This year, we found that credit card debt is up 16% compared to a year ago. And that's not the only form of borrowing that costs more. Mortgages, student loans, and auto loans are also up, which is putting a lot of people in a very tough situation when it comes to being able to repay those loans. Sarah Rathner says the first step to paying down debt is to make a list of everything you owe and the interest rates. Then you can make a payoff plan. And that idea is to keep you motivated and organized while you make debt payments. One popular method is debt avalanche. You prioritize the debt with the highest interest rate, then move to the debt with the second highest on your list. That, by the way, is Rick Reagan's suggestion. Another option, a debt snowball. In this case, pay off the lowest balance and work your way up. Rathner says you can also try to lower the interest rates on your cards. Start by calling the number on the back of your credit card and talk to somebody in customer service and see if you'd be eligible for a lower credit card interest rate. You can also look into balance transfer credit cards. You typically have to pay a small fee. It's three to 5% of the transferred balance. So that's something to budget for. But if what you can stand to save on interest is higher than that fee, it does become worth it. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. All right, thank you, Nicole. If you're struggling to make your minimum monthly payment, you can look for a nonprofit credit counseling service. They can help with budgeting, debt negotiations, and help make debt more manageable.